Hey guys, Rex back again with my second movie review. Today we got Mission Possible Fallout. Oh my god, we got a good one today guys, so stick around for the whole review to see what I think about it at the very end. So of course, starting off, we got our story. So, story is we got three nuclear cores that are like plutonium, very explosive, boom, go missing. And our boy Ethan Hunt has to get them back, okay? Okay. Now, of course, it's a race against time because we don't know when the nukes are going off. And so it's very fast paced and there's lots of moving parts. There's these people want this stuff. Everybody's got their own agenda. So like you gotta be paying attention, but that makes it better because it's nice to see a movie taking us seriously. You know, I don't like going to, going to Jurassic World thinking I'm stupid. Just think the only thing on my mind is money. I got more things I'm watching. But at the heart of this story are great characters. So let's start off with my boy, TC, Tom Cruise, Ethan Hunt. This guy is literally like the best action star ever. Like Ethan Hunt is the biggest badass to ever live. Dude runs, bikes, does everything, and is a good character with like, he cares about people, and has connections and values and will do anything to save his team's ass, which creates for amazing storytelling. Opposite of Tom Cruise is Henry Cavill as August Walker, a CIA agent who's kind of a bit more of a brute and is a nice counterbalance to uh, Ethan, Hunt, Ethan Hunt as a kind of more like strategic, luck-oriented um, dude. That chick is back from the f fifth one, that one right there. Um, Ilsa Faust, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, she's amazing in this one as well. Um, because she's like, she's got that weird vibe, you know, dude, where she's like, she looks like super sexy and badass and assassin, can to totally kill you at any second and any day. But you like her at the same time and like totally hope she's got your back, which you, you think she does, but you don't know. Benji and Luther are cre like have their own dynamics. They do some cool things too and they're there for like side characters and comic relief and they're really, really good in this movie too. And we got a returning baddie in this one. It's kind of something new for the Mission Impossible franchise to recycle their bad people. But Solomon Lane is back again, Sean Harris, and he's pretty good. I mean, he's not as good as he was in Rogue Nation, but he's, I think he's still really good in this one. So we got a cool story. Filled with amazing characters. Moving on to visuals, that might be the best part of the movie. These stunts. Oh my gosh. Tom Cruise does all his stunts and they're for real. Like, every part of it is real. He's flying helicopters. He's racing against traffic. He's running on top of buildings. Jumping off of buildings. They're swimming. They're boating. They're doing all sorts of... He did, he did a halo jump. You know, like the... He did that. Bro, bro, bro. And the locations too, man. Like this is an international movie. These are all always international movies and it's so cool to see all these cool, unique places and not just like Chicago or New York. Like, dude, this is boring. Show me some new stuff. And they do. And then to top it all off, we got a cool kick-ass score that's very dramatic. It was like, bwah, bwah. it kind of reminded me of Inception. So, but Inception was really good, so I mean, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And it kind of worked for this movie. It created a lot of tension and made all the, all the parts like really, really intense. And I was like, ah, I, I like didn't, I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, oh my gosh, is my dude going to make it? You have to wait and find out for yourself if he does. Overall, guys, this was a really, really, really good entertaining movie. I had a lot of fun with it. it was, it's probably the best in, my, in the franchise, in my opinion. I thought it was just freaking amazing. And, you know, it's nice to see these action movies nowadays doing the real stunts, real practical stunts, doing stuff for the audience and not just, like, taking the easy way out that we know you can do in Hollywood these days. And, you know, they're setting the bar higher. This is probably the action movie for a while, man. I mean, even better than like the John Wick movies. These movies are like freaking amazing. Okay, so that's why I'm gonna give it, I only gave this out, Daniel only gave this out to one movie last year and that was Logan. But you know, this movie for action movies does it. And that's why Mission Impossible Fallout is transcendent. Definitely go out and watch it, guys. Definitely pay the money. I suggest seeing an IMAX with the big screen. 
definitely totally worth it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Okay, and make sure you go out and see this movie, support it, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see, want me to see next, so then I'll review it for you guys. I think Christopher Robin's next on my list, but whatever you guys want, comment down below, and I'll check it out. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Check out all the other Phoenix Force videos. Okay, okay, bye, bye. Wah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you really liked it and want to see more similar content, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to check out that video. But if that video is not your style, then definitely check out that video. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.